Ah, uh, Williamsburg, lovely morning. Where can I get a beer around here? <laughs> Steve. John, fine for me. Great John, to welcome. Yeah. It's great to be Come here. Come on in. I'd love to, I'd love to. So tell me, Steve, how old were you when you had your first beer? I was 16. And what was it? It was a Wiedemann's from Cincinnati, Ohio. What'd you think? It was awful. Yeah. How old were you when you started Brooklyn Brewery in 1988? I was 39 years old. And when did you move into this building? We built this brewery in 95. Is this where you brew most of Brooklyn's beer? No, we brew about 80,000 barrels a year here. We brew 220,000 barrels in upstate New York. How many employees do you have now? There are about 120 people here, full time. About 50 part time. And how many countries are you exporting to? We sell in uh, more than 25 countries around the world. We're the biggest exporter of American craft beer. And what were revenues last year about? A little over $80 million and growing. <laughs> how many different kinds of beer do you guys brew? Because you, you come out with a lot of limited stuff now. We do a, probably 25 beers every year. Uh, you know, many of them very small volume. We only sell them here. They're kind of experimental beers. Of the experimental beers, what do you think was the weirdest you ever did? A few years ago, one of our brewers did a, a beer based on the oatmeal cookie. Got like raisins floating in I it kind of thing? I love oatmeal cookies. I love yeah. oatmeal cookies. It was delicious. Yeah. God, I'm sorry I didn't have a chance to try that. So when you started the company in 1988, was craft brewing even a thing? No, it wasn't. Uh, we were called a, a microbrewery, and uh, people didn't understand what we were doing. Uh, can I pour you a beer? Oh, God, I'd love a beer. It's like yeah. 9.30 in the morning here. Yeah, right. It's right. getting late. Oh, excellent. Brooklyn Sour, Bel Air yeah, Sour. Yeah, this is uh, a new sour beer we've got. I thought you might like it. Well, it's you know, particularly good. good for the morning. It is morning. It's a beautiful morning. Nice citric <laughs> notes. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, I understand. Um, when you started here, you had a run in with a certain fraternal organization, shall we say. <laughs> so when we were building the brewery here, uh, these uh, union uh, business agents uh, showed up. And the minute they showed up, all the workers disappeared off the job. We suspect uh, they were connected with maybe the mafia or something like that? Well, they certainly looked that way and talked that way. And I, actually, uh, it was about 10 days there was no work here. Wow. Finally, I had a meeting with the boss of the group. How'd that meeting go? It was very unpleasant. At one point he approached me, I was sitting in a chair, put his hand between my legs and squeezed, put his face down next to mine and said, we're gonna have to hurt you. Did he? No, he slammed me into the wall and said, just kidding. Ha, ha, and they ha, ha, all ha. had a big laugh, yeah, yeah. And that was it? And they went away, yeah. Why do you think they just left? I don't know, maybe because the project wasn't as big as they thought it was, the way it looked in the paper, or you know, maybe my background as a journalist, they thought it would be, you know, be a pain in the ass uh, trying to deal with me. I, I, I don't know, but I'm very glad they left. Them too. Can I see your office? Yeah, sure. How Let's go up to the back stairway. Here. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. So we're drinking at work and it's like 9.30 in the morning. Is this a kind of every day? Yeah, it's part of the job, you know. Are you ever drunk at work? No. No, this is my job. Well, there, you know, there's so many craft breweries now, Steve. You know, you've seen a lot come up. Um, how intense do the rivalries get between you guys? It's still a very collegial, uh, or you know, kind of uh, industry. You know, we realize we small brewers have to stick together. So you're not messing with each other's yeast or like bread no, or anything like that. No, no, nothing. Oh, that's good to know. God, nice office. Yeah, thanks. There was a time when it looked like you might have to move from this office, right? Well, we need more space, and uh, this neighborhood's become very pricey. But Mayor de Blasio just changed the zoning of this area in a way that uh, enables us to stay here for the long term. So we're pretty happy about that. We'll be expanding here, probably going up a few floors. Excellent, excellent. So Brooklyn Beer is going to be made in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This your lounge? Yep, have a seat. I think I will. I think I will. So I guess the big question is, um, what's the one piece of advice you have for someone who's thinking of starting a brewery? Well, I would say if you're starting a brewery, get ready for the biggest adventure of your life. 